he left sanctuary because the ICE promised two congresspersons, Congressman Price and Congressman Butterfield, that they would allow him to come in and go through the process. They knew that mistakes had been made, and they would allow him to do all of the things necessary for him to stay here. They believed them. The Congress people believed them. The pastor believed them. The family believed them. And as soon as he uh, was there, they not, they not only took him, they jumped him, wrestled him down to the ground, and put him under arrest. And religious leaders, his pastor and others, surrounded the car and said, you take him, you have to take us. Uh, the whole city of Durham and many places, uh, Durham and Raleigh, many advocates now are just um, uh, appalled of, of this kind of, of trickery, this kind of ugliness, direct lying to United States Congress persons and using this system as a system of oppression against outstanding citizens, uh, people of this, in this country, uh, a man who has contributed to this country in more ways than one. But even if he had not had the 22 years and all of that, to do it this way and to tell these lies again shows uh, that they are using the ICE now uh, to snatch up people. You know, I don't want us to go too far with this, because I know the history of what happened when the Gestapo snatched people up in in um, in Germany and in other places. I know the history of when black people used to be snatched up, even when they were free, uh, when Native Americans were snatched. There's some ugly history behind this if we, if we look down through the years. And this was just brutal and wrong and ugly. But what I'm so proud of is all of the people of every race, color, creed, and sexuality that are standing up saying that we stand with this young man and we're going to fight for him to get his due and his justice in this land. And the Congress people are still standing up.